So, narrative writing. What's the narrative writing? The narrative writing is a form of writing that tells a real or an imaginary story. The narrative writing is just you are telling a story, whether it's real, realistic, or fiction. What does fiction mean? Fiction means, hmm? What does it mean? It means imaginary. Okay, so any story has a certain elements, some elements that are not found in any other type of writing. The narrative writing needs, what does it need? It needs the plot. The plot means the main events of the story. It also needs characters, people, animals, or things in the story. The setting, which is the huh, time and place. It has also a, an opening or a beginning, whether you use this word or this word, opening or beginning. Middle and end. And we usually say beginning, middle, and end. As you can see here, this is the five finger detail, the setting, characters, beginning, middle, end. So what are the features of the narrative writing? Any writing in the world has certain features. So now we're going to talk about the features of the narrative writing. Stories usually have the following features. The characters. The characters are the people in a story hold on please. And the characters are the people in the story, not only the people, people and animals or things that have a main role in the story. And what's going to happen to them? The setting, which is the time and place. And the setting tells us, tells us when and where the story takes place. The plot. The plot is like the summary of the main events. The plot tells us what happens in the story and the order that it happens in. It has an opening, middle, and ending. So what do we find in the opening? We find the start of the story. The opening should catch the reader's attention and make them want to carry on reading, to continue reading. Then the middle. The middle, we have the events in the middle of the story that might include a build-up to the problem, means that the problem is going to happen, and the problem itself, and how it is resolved, or how it's gonna be resolved. Because sometimes, the problem is resolved at the ending, but most of the time, it's resolved in the middle. And it also has an ending. The ending explains what happens to the characters next, and describes what we have learned. Okay, now we have an example for a story and a story map. Hold on, please. Okay, now we have a story that is called The Boy Who Cried Wolf. I think you all know The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Okay, so now, what's the setting of, the, of that story? And what are the main characters and the other important characters? Uh, I send you a video for this story, and after you watch the video, you will see the story uh, map and how it is uh, classified. So here, okay. After you have watched the video, I think it's very easy for you to know the setting. The setting is one day in the village. One day is a time and in the village is the place. If you could not find a time mentioned, so you could skip it. It's fine. And here are the main characters. The main characters are the boy and the wolf. And there are some other important characters as well, like the sheep and the town people. Okay, what's the plot? What is the plot summary? The plot summary is, it's a tale or a story about a shepherd boy who always or repeatedly treated nearby town people into thinking a wolf was attacking his town's flock of sheep. You remember, he says, 
Wolf, wolf, wolf. He always tries to trick them. And when a real wolf actually did appear, and the boy again called for help, the town people believed that he was tricking them again. And no one helped him. So the sheep were really eaten by the wolf this time. And the shepherd boy really felt miserable and sad after what he did. See this picture? Okay. Okay, so now here we're going to talk about the beginning, middle, and end of the. Now we're going to talk about the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Here you will find that the beginning is very easy. The boy was bored watching the sheep. And then he decided to pretend that the wolf was attacking his sheep. And the middle is, the town people or the villagers came to help and found out that the boy was lying. And so on. And the end is, a, really, a, a, a wolf really reached the boy and ate his sheep. And so on. So you have to read it all carefully. Then, here, the main idea. What's the main idea? The main idea is what the text is mostly about. So you have to look at the title and pictures, and sometimes the main idea is in the first and last sentence, and look for the blue words or the keys repeated over and over. And the main idea of the boy who cried wolf is the shepherd boy cried or lied to the people in his village by saying there is a wolf, and when the real wolf came, no one helped him because no one believes a liar. Here, this is your turn. Um, another story which is called The Golden Egg. The Golden Egg, here, what you need to do is to, to see this box, you will find here the farmer, the wife, the goose, every day in the morning in the farm. So what are these? Do you think it's related to this? Yes. The farmer is the second or main character, so we have to place it. The wife, is it a second or main character, or one of the main characters? It's one of the main characters. In the farm, huh? You say, I will not tell you. <laughs> okay, here we have the beginning, middle, and end of the story, the golden egg. Okay, so now we have the beginning, middle, and end. And the main idea as well. Here you will find this in the you will find in this box three parts. This is the first part. You see, this sentence is a part, and this is the last part. Once upon a time, a farmer had a goose that played the golden egg every day in the morning. Okay, once upon a time. So what do you think? Is it beginning, middle, and end, or end? Beginning here, the farmer realized his foolish mistake and cried over his lost resource. Is it middle or end? I will not tell you. One day, the farmer got an idea and thought, Why should I take just one egg a day? Continue reading, and then you will know exactly which part suits each part. We agree that this part is the Beginning. So you have to read the sentence as well. As well, it might be the middle or an end. And this part, it might be a middle or an end. So here, what's the main idea? Think, and then you will know what the main idea is. Here, what we exactly did. We're going to do it here again. Here you will find two parts. The two parts should be. And here, whether it's the plot or the summary or the main idea. A greedy farmer killed his goose that used to lay a golden egg every day. He thought that he would take all the eggs at once, but he found out that there was nothing inside but guts and blood. So do you think this is the plot or the main idea? We agree that the plot is like a summary, so you have to think whether it's a summary of the events or it's just the main idea, like a sentence where it's like uh, something that tells you what the story is about. 
here, the second part, there was once a farmer who had a goose that laid a golden egg. Huh? These are the events. And it's a summary of the events. So is it the plot or the main idea? It's very 